In this example, we'll use the calculator to build an exponential population model for the U.S. We've gathered some data from 2005 to 2019, and the population shown is in millions. So the first year in 2005, the population was 295,500,000 roughly, and the last year in 2019, it was just over 328 million. The first thing we need to do on the calculator is enter this data, and then we'll use the exponential regression option to build our model. So let's go over to the calculator first. And to enter the data, we need to open up the stat menu. So hit the stat button, and the edit option brings us into the data entry. I've already entered the data here, but if not, you would enter the years in list one and the values for the population in list two. Notice that for the years, since we're building a population model, uh, as we've generally done, we'll make the first year year zero, the year 2005, and then it goes up to year 14 for 2019. So rather than using 2005 and 2019, we'll scale it to set t equals zero uh, at our first year. Now, once we have the data entered, we can do the exponential regression. So go back to the stat menu by hitting the stat button again. And now we wanna go over to the second menu, the calc menu, and we were looking for exponential regression. So if we scroll down through all the options here, eventually we find exponential regression, which is option zero here near the bottom. Once we enter that, as long as we've entered the X's, the years uh, in list one, we call them T, but the calculator calls them X's, and then the population values in list two, which the calculator calls Y. Uh, as long as we've done that in that order, we don't have to change anything here. So we can just scroll down to calculate, and it'll give us the form of the model, which is A times B raised to X. Now remember, we're using T instead of X, so you have to keep that straight, but otherwise, everything is pretty straightforward. It gives us the values for A and B, and then again, without going into too much detail on R and R squared for now, just know that the closer the R squared is to one, the better fit this model is. So since that R squared is 0.99, it's a pretty good fit uh, to the data. So we can write down this model using our notation. We would write P of T instead of Y equals A, which is 296.99, so we'll write 297, times B, which is 1.0076 approximately, and then instead of to the power of X, we'll write to the power of T. So if we wrote this the way we normally do, it would look like that, 297 times 1.0076 to the t. We could even write it as 297 times 1 plus 0.0076 to the t if we wanted to emphasize that the growth rate was 0.76%.